Hey guys, this is Andrea Perry once again. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about my story and you know how I got started with Empower Network and how it has that had an impact on my life. Um, I pretty much got started with Empower Network almost three months ago, and um, well, I guess let me backtrack just a little bit and tell you about where I came from and everything. You know, um, so. Pretty much, um, I mean, I've always, you know, been a lovable, sweet person, you know, so intelligent and everything like that. No, I'm kidding. But, um, no, I'm really not kidding. It's really true. But <laughs> to get to the point, um, I've always been told, you know, growing up, like, from a kid, you know, to, you know, an adult, like, I've always been told, you know, to get good grades, you know, and to go to college and, you know, just do really well in school, you know, and to be really smart so that I could get a good, you know, paying job and, you know, I'd be very successful in life, you know, and make a lot of money. And so, you know, ever since, you know, I was a kid, like, I've always gotten good grades, you know, I've always gotten straight A's, you know, gotten, you know, 4.0s, you know, I've graduated high school at the top of my class, and I went on to college uh, right after that. I graduated high school when I was 17, you know, and so I was in college at 17, you know, still getting straight A's, you know, and, you know, just really working really hard, you know, I've always loved to read and write, you know, I've always been into my academics, you know, always thought it was very important, you know, for me to be successful. And so I went off to Clark Atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia, and it was an amazing school. I mean, I had a lot of fun there. It was just, it was really great. And um, the thing is that it was just very, very expensive, you know. It's a private school, you know, so pretty much, you know, there was no break, you know, for anyone. So um, I had to transfer to Georgia State. I actually got to pay um, in-state tuition, which was pretty good because that was a, a, a huge discount. And I'm from California, you know, but I had been here, been there, been living there for over a year. So um, by the time I, you know, went on to Georgia State, I was able to pay in-state. You know, and I mean, college is an, is an expensive thing, you know, and when you really think about it, you know, you're going to college, you know, so you can get a good job, you know, hire to, you know, just really be successful and make a lot of money, but when you really think about it, just think about, like, how much money <laughs> we spend on college each year, you know, I mean, we have to buy books, tuition, room and board, you know, just all of that stuff is just, like, crazy, you know, astronomical numbers, and, you know, a lot of us are just really stressed out because we have to get student loans and, you know, try to scramble to get scholarships, you know, like, it's just crazy, you know, to think about how much we pay for our education versus how much we'll actually be making after we get that job, after we graduate, you know, so it's just a crazy, crazy thing to think about, but, I mean, that's all I knew, you know, since I was a young child, you know, that's how I grew up, you know, to be successful and to make something of myself, you know, and that was the way that I was going to do it. So, you know, I went to Georgia State. Um, that was the first time I actually didn't do so well. I guess I was going through some personal things maybe. I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, I tried to withdraw from that from those classes, but it was a little too late, you know, how that might go. But um, eventually, you know, I took three years off school, you know, I was doing my thing, you know, having fun in the streets of Atlanta and everything. And then um, I got pregnant, you know. And so when that time came, it was just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, I don't want to be a loser for my son. Like, I don't want my son's mom to be a loser, you know? Like, seriously. So I was just like, man, you know, I guess, you know, the only option is to go back to school, you know, so I could get a good job and make this money, you know, make it happen for my son, you know? Because I want to, you know, provide the best for him. So... I came out to Langston, Oklahoma uh, and transferred to Langston University and I actually 
you're like, why did you go all the way to Oklahoma from Atlanta? Where does that? Well, actually, my sister graduated from Langston, and so I came out here because I was very familiar with the place because she went um, here. So, you know, I transferred uh, here in the fall of 2010. Okay, so um, ever since then, you know, I've been getting my education, you know, on track, back with my straight A's and everything, you know, just, you know, really like, you know, getting into the groove of things and everything. But, you know, I'm studying broadcast journalism. It's like, okay, so the job that I would get, you know, in this field would probably be around uh, $30,000 a year job, okay? You know, um, maybe if I'm lucky, you know? Maybe a little more than that, but I mean, I'm just saying that'll be around where it would be. So I thought about that, and you know, I'm just you know trying to figure out, you know, what am I gonna do, you know, when I graduate and everything. You know, I'm I'm about to graduate this May, you know. So it's just you know, like dang, you know, I was doing an internship, which was really fun, you know, really exciting, you know. I was having a good time. I was in the marketing mar marketing department of a photographic uh, major photo finishing company, um, which was pretty cool. But the thing was, it's just like you know, it was a nine to five, and I knew that that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You know, that is not how I wanted to spend my life. You know, working for somebody to build their dream. You know, I wanted to build my own dream, and so. I didn't know how I was going to do it, you know, like, I, I just didn't know, you know, of course, I really didn't know um, how I was going to do it based off of, you know, getting my degree and <laughs> going out into the world trying to get a job working for somebody, which I didn't want to do in the first place. So, um, it just so happened that I stumbled upon Empower Network online on Facebook actually and um, when I got into it I really just knew that this was the place that I needed to be you know um, just from seeing Dave Wood you know the co-founder um, on the video he really really um, intrigued me and I wanted to know more about it and I, I, I definitely you know did my due diligence and everything and I just knew that it was the perfect opportunity for me to get the kind of freedom <laughs> time freedom and money freedom that I wanted and desired in my life you know and I knew that it was a thing for me to do you know to escape the nine to five you know the rat race all of that stuff before I even started to really 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 get into that you know I didn't want to have to graduate and actually have to live my next 40 years of my life slaving for someone and so I was so excited that I found this, you know, I finally found, you know, what I'm, you know, my purpose in life. Like, I'm seriously, like, I'm so serious, you know, because, I mean, with Empower Network is so, so, it's so empowering, you know. Um, you know, we're making a lot of money here, but you get to know that it's so much more than the money you know your life really begins to change and you start to do things that you've never done before you know you start getting exposed to things that you have never experienced before you know and it's just such a great feeling you know and then you have like this big huge community of family like seriously like really family you know and so I told myself last August I told myself August 2012 that I was gonna I was not gonna be on welfare anymore by this year in August I told myself that I didn't know how you know like I didn't know how I was gonna get off you know because I mean it was a really big major support you know for me and my son but I just didn't want to be on it anymore I wanted to be independent you know financially and be able to take care of myself and my son myself you know and so, it just so happened that it's January, okay, and I've only been in Empower Network for three months, and it has changed my life that drastically, like, I'm not on welfare anymore, you know? I told myself last August that a year from then, which is this August, I would be off welfare. Well, guess what? I'm off welfare now, okay? You know what I'm saying? So... Actually, it's February, February 4th, but I got off welfare January. So, I mean, 
that's how much of a difference, you know, how much of a change Empower Network has had in my life, you know. I'm just really so excited, you know, and just really thankful, you know, to have something like this, you know. I mean, I'm just really, really, really excited. And my computer, I think you can still see me, but my computer went to sleep. But I had to wake it up real quick, you know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to let you know that Empower Network is the place to be. You know, this is where your dreams can really come true. Because mine truly have, and I definitely have bigger dreams, you know. And that I'm still working on, you know, to, for them to come through. Like, you know, I want to be able to, you know give the children in Africa <laughs> clean water you know I want to be able to to feed the kids here in the states you know I want I want to be able to do things like that you know to give back and so this is definitely helping me to you know realize my dreams and to fulfill my dreams and I definitely want to let you know that if you were even considering joining empower network to go ahead and click the link below now and just get in because it's only twenty five dollars and this is really life changing you know you don't have to work a nine to five you don't have to feel like you're a slave you ha don't have to wonder you know how are you gonna spend the rest of your life you can start living your life now you know because all the time you know I just knew that I was unfulfilled you know getting different jobs and not really being happy, quitting one job, going to the next, quitting another job, going to the next, you know, that's just not a happy life, like, that's just like, that's not, you know, for me, I'm, I'm not a job-minded person, but that was the only way that I really knew how to make money, you know, but it's crazy how when you're exposed to something and you're like, wow, I didn't know this my whole life, you know, then your life begins to change, you know. And it's, it's really a big difference between, like, people who are poor and people who are rich, you know? And, but it's not such, such, an, such a major difference, you know? It's just a few small things, you know? And these people are not that much different than you, you know? I've met so many uh, six and seven figure earners, freaking millionaires, you know, and everything like that, like through Empower Network. And these people, like, you know, have helped me, you know, mentored me and everything. Like, I'm modeling these people because that's where I'm going to be, you know, within the next two years. Uh, so basically, before, by the time I turn 27, which I'm 25 right now. So, um, that's how, that's how real it is, you know? And, um, I mean, a multimillionaire by the time I'm 27, if you didn't understand what I was trying to say. So, um, that's how real stuff is. And I just want you to know that all it takes is a mindset shift, you know? All it takes is a simple decision for you to just get in and see how your life can be changed. That's all I can really say. So, click the link below and run with me. Run with me.